Hello and welcome to the Diet Dr. Pepper series. We are at Kansas this week. I'm really excited. Love my mile and a half. And we are jumping into qualifying here. Should have my settings all correct for my steering ratio and all that good stuff. So we'll go ahead and head out there. Feeling pretty good. We're running the high side for a fast lap, which I love to do. And uh, hopefully we can keep it out of the wall, which is always a concern when uh, running that high line. So I think this first lap will probably enter a little bit softer. Just uh, to try to make sure I don't hit the wall. And then uh, lap two maybe we'll try to see how far we can push it. Right now they're getting up to speed. Green flag, green flag. Okay, here comes your first time lap. And here we go. best I was able to do in my practice was a point three. In the current session, a point four is where I was. Looks like the track is maybe a little bit slower, a little less grippy. Hopefully, because we're about two tenths off of my optimal. Oh no, Gavin. He's been having issues and it looks like they are continuing. And as I look at uh, him dropping from the session, I tap the wall, but it looks like I might be okay. I was able to hit it soft enough to uh, not trigger the 0x, but I think uh, I got too tight in 3 and 4 anyway, so first lap is going to be have to be the one that counts. Oh, maybe not. I was actually really close. Or I actually beats my uh, first lap by a little bit, but not quite up to the speeds that uh, I was hoping I would get to. Just maybe went a little bit easy, but that's okay. Still got a good starting spot. That's all I really need is a decent uh, place to start out from. Chuck right now on the pole. I hope Gavin can uh, get that all figured out. That's kind of interesting. That second lap was faster, even though I tapped the wall. I wish I hadn't. Uh, I wish I had focused in a little bit more if I knew that uh, it was not okay. Thank <laughs> you, Nick says. Technical difficulties for Gavin. It looks like he might be trying again. I'm with Rick. I hope Gavin's able to get it working. It's always something. Feels like always somebody having something going wrong. We'll do a practice pit in here. Should be fine. We're gonna get yelled at by qualifying scrutiny, but we're okay. We're gonna get all the way down to 45. Which uh, not too uh, not too quick. You really gotta get it slowed down. I'm going to take a peek and see what uh, Gavin's saying in the Discord, because he was mentioning it's his graphics card or something, updated while he was in the session, and... Uh... <sighs> yeah, it, uh, it crashed on him, and now he's trying to get it to work, and it's not wanting to. But one interesting thing about this race, we're going to have 100 and... Boo, 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 34 laps, and uh, it's kind of borderline whether we can make it on... I think it's two stops, because if we were to take 134 and divide that into three, then you would want to make it uh, about 45 laps, and we got about 40, 41 laps of fuel, so you'd have to save quite a bit and probably save from the start. So do you go for that? I don't know. It's going to be tricky. Don't know what we're going to go with, but... I'm going to jump out there and practice in the warm-up and see what uh, our estimates are. Uh, I think the first run, maybe we just have to go for it and see how much we can save. Not do it uh, too crazy much to where we're, like, going laps down or something dumb. <laughs> but uh, 
you know, see if we can save enough fuel, because if we can make it, that's what we're going to want to do, I think. Because uh, an extra stop takes just so much time. But we'll start P3, it looks like. And I'll be bringing up the Diet Dr. Pepper series league standings for you. That'll be here in just a moment. There we are. So you see we got this race and then two more in the season. And we're currently leading with Gavin in second. He is uh, about 170 or so points back in second place. So if I can avoid disaster, I think we're in a good spot. Um, having been able to be consistent and to show up to every race, things are looking pretty good for us. We'll try to do things like get some bonus points and all that good stuff. And uh, try to put ourselves in a good position here. And I will go ahead and turn that off. There we go. And like I said, we're going to peek and see how fuel saving might work. Alright. Hopefully everything's looking right. I think I got it. Okay, yeah. Sorry, getting everything set up properly. Gavin's here, and hopefully he's here to stay. You can see, about 41 estimated laps. We have to make it about 45. So, you know, make it 45 that first run. <laughs> Excuse me. Sorry. Something stuck in my throat. Actually, I got a drink here. It's going to be a long race, as these races are, and it's uh, probably going to be a clean one, which these races also tend to be. It'll be a lot of fun. So I think we try to go for it. We try to go for the 45, because after we get 45, I think we can do 45, 45, and then like 44 to the end, or, you know, be able to make it as long as we can. We'll see, though. Now keep in mind, this 40.6 I've got down here, that's estimated after I've been doing only hot laps, and that's running the high line. So if we run the lower line, do some bigger lifts off, save tires, maybe we can save that fuel and put ourselves in a good spot. But we'll see. I'm going to start doing some uh, race pace laps here and end that off with... Uh, well, we don't really have much time, so we're not really going to get much information from this at all. Just a really quick warm-up. But We'll do a one or two corners, probably come and pit in at this uh, in this lap. I'm going to be running the low side. That's the way to save tires anyway, I think. Just got to try to avoid any big slides. I think if we can do that, we'll be in a good spot. Fitting in here. Got to get it all the way to 45. Watch and we got it. So, feeling good. Got to make sure I can yeah, get into my box. To <laughs> That's uh, pretty important yeah, as well. Good luck. Yeah, good as luck. of right now, Gavin's here and hopefully here to stay. Luck, Starting P3 on the inside. That's where I want to be. Luck. I'm liking that. Good luck, everyone. As you can see the field here today, 27. Yeah, good luck, guys. Participants. Good luck, guys. Good luck, all. The estimated strength of field is 2,800. Oops. Going to session last lap. We'll break out the uh, clutch pedal as well if we find the opportunity. I think there's enough off throttle time that we could uh, do what we can about saving. Still got an estimate about 40.6. We, uh, we're going to keep a close eye on that, and if it looks like we're just not going to be able to do it, then we'll adjust our, uh, our strategy. Might be necessary. You never know, too. I mean, these races have been going green, but you never know. There could be a caution at some point and uh, throw this whole strategy process on its head. We're going to be saving a lot of fuel here. Catch Rolling around the bottom of the track. One to green, and I want to make sure I don't do any dramatic uh, 
accordion effect type deals. So make sure that I'm uh, not being a bad pacer. But I definitely want to save some. We'll have the one of the best views of the leader as he takes off. That's Chuck after a great qualifying lap. And it's going to be a second gear start, it looks like. So we'll get ready here. Get ready, going green. Okay, I'd carry it on. Green flag, green flag. Catch up to him pretty quick there. He's being careful not to uh, spin his You're tires out, that's smart. Stay low, there is a car on the high side. Still there, you're on the bottom, three wide. Not doing that. The next car's the leader. Save a little bit while we can. And we will be taking this apron as well. Shortest way around. Plenty of reason to do it. Gonna have to get a good feel for uh, how hard we should push it through these corners. I'll let them get away a little bit, that's okay, we've got space behind. Lots of time we can spend on the, uh, on the clutch. And again, it's 45 we want to make it to, so we'll do some laps, see how the calculator updates. And we'll adjust our plan from there, because if it looks like we're not going to make it, we're just going to have to pick up the pace. Still save tires, of course, but pick up the pace so that way we are uh, making the most out of time on the track. That was a 31.2. They're kind of running up higher already. That's interesting. They might be going for the extra stop. They're not too concerned with saving, I don't think. So we might be the first person on this strategy. I think more people behind us are saving, though. We're not getting really uh, caught all that quickly. So they might be uh, trying to do some saving as well. Keep it low on the track, save some tires at the same time. The gap ahead is now 1.3. Minimize the amount of throttle we're using as we're coming out of the corner. All that stuff should help us. Layton showing up here. Looks like he might be ready to go forward. Obviously not going to fight for that. If he's on the other strategy, then it just makes sense that he comes and passes us. Wait, Nick, you just went up. Oh, sorry, bud. I think we're looking pretty good, actually. We're saving a lot of fuel. So this might be much more doable than even I expected. like how this is going. Kind of block. I'm just trying to go the short way around. He had a lot of run there off the corner. Oh, 
plane. We're just going to go as long as possible, I think, so that way we don't have to save later in the race. Expected him to get around me there. That was interesting. Not trying to get alongside him. Think hopefully we don't. I want a better angle in the corner. Maybe uh, we're not using as much fuel as I thought. Maybe those guys even going fast can make it. That would be interesting to find out. Sorry, Alan. Didn't turn in up on me there, buddy. Definitely would like That's to stick okay, go green. I, I like how this is looking for us. Fuel saving seems to be very viable. got to pull the seat cushion out of my back. Is now Whoa, what's happening up there? Someone in the wall? Maybe Sorry, contact? That, that All of a sudden I saw him real close in the corner and maybe the... Good, man. Maybe Chuck in the wall. They can get a great view of it. I was paying attention to my uh, corner. wonder if they got any uh, significant damage there. Don't want to be hitting the walls too much or each other here. On a mile and a half, so that arrow damage can really affect you. So where are we at now? We got about 35 laps in addition to the 12 we've done, so that's about 47. We are good to make it to 45 and then some. Oh man, there's more wall hit up ahead. What are they doing? They're having a rough time. Unless that was just a prediction code. They're fighting hard, though. I'm getting tighter into the corner. Despite not pushing too hard. Andrew behind us. He's very, very quick. Always a very strong competitor, so we're going to keep an eye on where he is and what's he, what he's up to. Okay, Colton. That's good consistency. Oh wow, that got weirdly tight near the exit. Maybe I got on the throttle a little bit too quick. That's getting much tighter than I expected. Especially considering that I've uh, been entering very softly. I'm getting on my right front just a little bit too much. Coasting into the corner, it's great and all, but it's easy to end up entering faster than you expect because of it. Uh, John have his right rear kind of tucked in a little bit. It looks like the right rear of his car has kind of got some damage on it. Unless that's just an illusion I've got going on. My eyeballs. That's exactly the kind of aero damage that could hurt him in the long run. A little bit less speed or a little less uh, handling because of an issue like that. Could hurt him over a uh, long term. 30 laps, we're looking pretty good there. Do a couple normal corners here with no, uh, no clutch. Maybe try to ease up on that right front a little bit if we can. 
getting loose out of the corner as well, despite uh, the fact that it's feeling tighter. I'm pretty okay with how uh, where we are right now. I am wondering if those guys can make it to the fuel goal, despite pushing a little harder. I'm curious about that. Oh, there we go. Mess uh, over during the corner here. I'm not getting uh, windows inside. Wow, there's that weird tight again. Sometimes it just does not want to turn. I'm not being very smooth. I need to work on uh, my approach here, I think, a little bit. The lap time was at 32.7. Stay off the throttle a little bit longer, maybe. Or at least stay easier on the throttle for longer. Catching up to P2 and 3. Interesting, we're uh, not quite as good on fuel now that I'm not clutching, so that does seem to make a big difference. Slide up. Don't want to be doing that right now. Go low. Still there. Go low. I think we got pretty good tires compared to these guys. Chuck up there is having a great run, though. He's got a big gap. Back in third. Keep hustling. Keep low. Clear outside if you want it. Outside. Still there. Still there, hold your line. Leighton holding on out there. I thought he was gonna hit me for a second there. Still there, That'd be hold your line. I'm sorry, I got loose. We're fine, I'm not really pushing at all. He's holding on though. And uh, letting Chuck get away. I might have to just, I don't know, I was going to say I might have to just push to get around him real quick, but if I get in front of him, then I just, I'm going to want to slow down the pace again, and then he's potentially just going to get around me once more. So what good will that do? I don't think it's going to do much good at all. So we're just going to keep hanging in there, keep running our pace, not worry about it too much. Andrew's got really good tires, looks like. Inside. 
clear. Okay, Colton, 10 minutes of fuel remaining. Well, did you blink oh. in and then I ran into you, Nick, or what? Car out yeah, that was, that was my fault. Out Captain Sass, behind us now. Go low. That's all good, buddy. Go low. A little bit of lifting on the straightaway, helping our fuel situation even more. Don't mind that. That's all good, man. That's all good. Uh, he's just going to stay out there the entire okay. race, I guess. Chuck's number one fan. I probably shouldn't have rolled up in there like that anyway. I thought it was Outside happening. Clear. And maybe he's going to let us go. Back in third. Keep hustling. Three. I think Andrew can probably make it. Fortunately, he gets around us while we're dealing dealing with the lady. Good to go after all that. No, I don't think so. Rick coming in. Yeah, I'm sorry. That might be about the time when guys who are planning on the extra stop plan on coming in. Ah, no worries, buddy. Should happen. Or it sounds like he's got damage. Maybe something might have happened. Not expect to catch Andrew that quickly through the corner. That was kind of surprising me. Can we cut down on that uh, gap that Chuck has? Do we need to? Or is he going to need to do the extra stop? He's 1.7 ahead right now, 1.8 at the line. P3. Okay, Colton, your lap times are pretty consistent. Go right now, save as much fuel as we can. We don't have to worry too much about the gap. We plan on going faster later when it matters most, so. Chuck is actually driving away at the moment. Thank you for that room, Stephen. I appreciate it. I went for one hell of a ride down there. Hopefully this goes green. I think this could be a fun fuel race. Father didn't say anything about it. Check again on what the fuel is saying here as we finish up this lap. Oh, Thirteen laps. We can make it about 47-ish, looks like. You've just done a 32.9. Great pitting it again, it looks like. So he must have had, had something to go wrong. It, you, Ron? I'm going to pit this time, guys. Oh, there's one guy that cannot make it. It's pitting too early for that. We want to see Chuck come in. Don't expect to see Andrew come in, though. What is all that smoke? I was looking at the smoke, I didn't take the short cut on the front stretch, but that's fine. Sorry about that. 20, I had nowhere to go. Over two seconds behind us, and that's Gavin. He's moved forward pretty good. I don't think he qualified all that bad, uh, if he even could qualify. Actually, I don't remember at all. 
Helen coming into the pits. Leighton reports 50-56, so he has pit. Not going to 45. Ooh, wall hit for Andrew on entry. He wanted there. Very hard to get the right speed into these corners. With clutching. I'm overdriving it a little bit on the, on the entries. I'm hitting this time. Pitting, pitting, pitting. I'm going to go back to uh, doing some regular laps, I think. It's going to be much faster. They're just getting a little bit too far away. My comfort. Cutting into that deficit between us and Chuck, just a little. He's been running the high line pretty much the whole time. I just, I'd be very surprised if he could make it to 44. He could still make it to 43 or something and still save later. Maybe that's his plan. Maybe he's really darn good at fuel, fuel saving. He's already pretty close at this moment right now. Got Frank coming out of the pits there. He's on the bottom line. He didn't really have a choice, he was just coming out. Might have slowed up Chuck a little bit. In fact, right, Chuck looks like he's a little bit slow all of a sudden. I don't know if that's tires or if he's trying to save all, all of a sudden here. Tyler's got some bad right front. That's probably what mine is going to look like. Because of how I've been clutching. 75 this time. Okay, that's a little early for Chuck. That's interesting. He could still save that later, maybe, but... He would have liked to go longer. The next car the leader. Phipps is now in the lead. I'm going to stay here. Okay, I thought... The leader's bidding now. The car behind you is bidding. Okay, I don't know where this guy wants to go. I'm gonna give him the bottom. Inside. All right. Clear. How many laps of fuel left? We got five ish. Only point seven up ahead. Duck did pretty the good with his tires, later. mostly even. You're blinking into the wall quite a bit, John. Forty-seven pit and forty-seven. It's certainly tight, that's for sure. We didn't get a very good run out of the corner there compared to him. Sorry. No cautions, please. I think it would be really fun to see how this works out. That was so aggressive. I mean, you're going on my outside. I'm tight, man. I've been racing for 44 laps. I really get out of it to deal with that. But they're racing what for what they think could be the win. So, and hey, maybe they're right. So I get it. Not wanting to waste too much time. I 
Who's been able to go just about as far as I have? You have about two laps of fuel left. The car behind you is pitting. Keep an eye out for more faster cars heading here, heading this way. Andrew's pitting in. We're going to go one more lap. Coming in this time. Don't forget to pit no one around us. We're running on fumes, mate. Hit this lap. In this lap. That was Look horribly the slow speed entry. The main speed limit is 45 miles per hour. We'll need to right, I guess it works. Make sure everything's set. We're all good. Pit box team, 10. Don't mess this up. I have Five, a history. 3, 2, 1. Right here. Go oh, really easy. I'm just scared at this point. 31.59. We'll report that. Move it, move it. I feel like my entry and exit the pit road were not very good there, but is what it is. We got Andrew's gonna be about two seconds ahead. Still gotta save some fuel this run. Maybe. Yeah, probably. Some guys that pit much earlier, we're going to be coming up on pretty fast. Car outside. Still there. Clear outside. B13. Coming up on Chad now. Going all the way to the bottom of the track for some reason. Get around him. Oh, look, he was going real low on exit. I feel pretty good about how much fuel we saved there. We're going to go ahead and just uh, go without clutching for a while and see what our fuel estimate is from there. But I think I can save tire better without clutching. And uh, maybe a little bit faster save uh, and uh, still save enough fuel. We'll see. We'll see how it's uh, shaping up after a while. Feel really good about the fact that we can uh, eliminate a pit stop though. I think this was definitely the way to go. Outside, Looking around clear. Dan, we are in P11 now. Wow, we got someone drifting all the way up the track. In the bottom lane, lap car. That's where that was about. P11. Maybe that's for Ryan, I don't know. Outside. Clear high. That's Andrew. I did not notice that. Catching him a lot faster than I expected. Car outside. 
car outside. Still there, hold your line. Stay low, there is a car on the Time high position. side. Clear up top. Like I said, we're gonna just, uh... I'm gonna go without clutching this run until uh, a little bit later, see how it's working out. Clearly it's helped us be a little bit faster. We're able to go one lap longer than he did, which could be crucial. One lap makes a big difference whenever you can make it to lap 133 but not 134. That's for sure. Don't want to run out of fuel on lap 133. We'll do big lifts off into the corner. Uh, engine braking will help us slow down a little bit more, therefore help that right front. And now moving forward. Outside. Okay, concept. Stay low. There's a car on the high side. You're clear. Outside, clear. Thank you. We are catching and passing some guys who cannot make it without taking an extra stop. Feeling very, very good about that. I really hope this goes green. Time to check our fuel consumption. It's about 36 laps. That's good. That's very good. We're trying to make it to about 90 here. I think we're plenty good on that, so I am very happy how that's looking. Car outside. You're on the bottom, three wide. Sorry guys. Still there, still there. Clear. We're gonna get the two for one. Just a little bit too much off pace for me to wait there. B6, that lap time was 31.8. Outside. Catching and passing Steven. Big lift off since we are entering shallow. Take a little more fuel at the same time. Save that right front a little bit more. And still get it done. There's Gavin. He cannot make it, I don't think. You'd have to save a whole lot, I think, this next run. In order to make it to 90. This is... Oh, I thought his scheme didn't load or something. Maybe it didn't? Is my trading paints working? Trading paints might not be working. Unless he's got a new scheme I don't know about. Yeah, I think my trading paints isn't working. I'm sorry. Pretend you see Diet Dr. Pepper right now. So we are P4. John and Layton definitely cannot make it. Chuck, however, he's borderline. He might be able to do it. So Chuck could be in the best seat in the house right now. I'm a little more comfortable with where I am at the moment. But he could still save enough fuel to make it potentially at lap 42 having pit. We'll just have to do some more saving later while well, I think we were able to uh, get a lot of saving done. Check in again here. About 31 laps. That makes us 92. Coming in for pits and that should be just fine. Car's definitely feeling pretty good right now. I think being able to slow it down more on entry without needing to clutch. Very, very helpful. John in the wall up there. Looks like he lost a lot of, lost a lot of pace in the corner. I'll be high in three hours. You're really sass. The gap is now 0.5. You've just hit you 32.2.
Yeah, he does have some damage on that right rear. I can see that for sure now. Outside. Tires are feeling pretty good. Still there. Able to get around him here without too Clear much outside, issue. But an Andrew check, he's 1.4 back, so he's definitely not back in third. Keep out of the picture. We passed him, but he's hung in there just fine. We know he can make it on fuel without taking the extra stop. So it's going to be real important to take note of where he is. I don't think we've led any laps yet, have we? Yeah, we have, because we stayed out longer than just about everybody. So yeah, we've led lap, okay, at least one lap, so that's bonus points. That's what you like to see. Hopefully if uh, trading paints isn't working, that doesn't mean more stuff isn't working. And uh, hopefully you can hear this right now. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Hopefully everything's all good on that front. Nice and smooth. Is that some smoke? Was that from Chuck? That smoke? I don't think so. It gained on us on the straightaway. Which does not seem to indicate he had issues in the corner. Could have been something up ahead, a lap car perhaps. Car Will a Leighton be as difficult to pass this Still time? There. Hold your line. Still there. Hold your line. Might have too much of a tire advantage for him to be able to hold on as much. Outside, clear. He tried, I think, but we get around him. He did have a lot of speed on that outside line. And we are marching forward toward Chuck. I'm very happy I decided to go without clutching this run. I think it's really helped with my right front. Check to see if I'm saving enough fuel still, though, when we get close to the line. And uh, Andrew's actually been catching up to us a little bit, so... You're clear, Gavin. It's important to note. Thank you. Oh, 24. Yes, we are good. I think uh, at this pace we should make it a 92, no problem. That's great news. Right front's going to look much better this time, I think. Within one second of Chuck now. He's probably going to get most laps led, though. He's done a great job. Just keeping this low line, I'm, I'm happy with how that's worked. Leighton has come in again. 50-60 That's what he's got for his tires. We'll have to pay attention behind us. Could have faster guys coming up again soon. Those new tires they've got on there. Andrew about .9 back still. The next car's the leader. Would love to get to victory lane again. We had a really good streak earlier in the season within like a span of four or five races. I think we had three wins, but then that was it. So it'll be awesome to get back into victory lane here. I like where I am, but there's still a lot of race left to go. Don't forget, Chuck might be able to make it. 
without taking that extra stop still. Twenty laps left. In this tank of fuel. Okay, Colton. Lap times are pretty consistent. Outside. Who's inside? Stay low, there is a car on the high side. Stay low, there is a car on the high side. How hard is he gonna fight for that? Still there, hold your line. Enough. It would seem. Oh god, this is potentially dangerous. Stay low, there is a car on the high side. Okay. Lap car should drive away from us on fresh tires. Clear high. All right, we're in the lead. That done, we're going to check the fuel again here. As we are going to finish 75 laps of this event, we're over halfway at this point. We're about 18 on fuel. That's even better, I think. It's looking about almost 93 even. Compared to the 92. That's what you like to see. Andrew about one second back. That's been uh, maintaining as a gap for a while. Sorry, Dakota. I didn't realize you were running the top. Gotta go green, though. Still gotta go green. Fun race though so far. Another excellent green flag run. Chuck cannot make it. Chuck, by pitting here, has proven that he cannot make it without reducing one stop, so that's pretty incredible. That is a big development. Andrew going to be a big competitor for us here. He could be the guy we have to beat here today. Unless uh, their strategy works a lot better than I'm expecting. I know Andrew was really good at saving his tires that first run. So he could come at us before the end of this green flag that was a run here. Point. Sorry. Brain farted there for a second. I'm going to go higher, Aaron. A Leighton coming up on fresh tires. Hopefully he can go around the high side. It should be the fast side anyway. I think if you're taking the extra stop, that's where you're going to want to be on track. Go on as fast as you can. Outside. Still there. Outside, clear. No issue there. You're now in the lead. I think the 7 got loose. Saw a little puff of smoke up ahead. Yeah, we're good to make it about 93 now. Might have to react. To Andrew behind us if he pits a little early. No earlier than 90 am I willing to come in, but anytime after that, I think I'm cool. 
make it to the end. And not have to worry about uh, going too slow either. Should be able to make it without too much issue. Gavin coming up. He's going to want the outside lane here. Make sure he has it. Car outside. Go low. Clear outside. Whoa. Inside. What's he going to be? Go Clear. Colton, that's good consistency. Keep it up. The lap time was at 33.1. Outside. Go low. Clear high. Down gets around no problem. We estimate you've got five minutes of fuel remaining. All right, getting close to time to pit. Ten laps to go. On fuel. Tires feel great, by the way, especially compared to last run. Our tire wear is going to be looking much better here. maybe lost a little bit of time there letting Chuck by? Is that what happened? Not sure. But he was running at about 0 .9, 1.0. Lost about uh, a couple tenths. kind of met on the exit there. A little scary for a second. John in the wall. It looks like he's had some issues with the wall this race. Assuming that might have been what happened with this right rear. Kansas is really evil when it comes to the wall. That's for sure. I can't tell you how many times I have slapped the wall running the high line here. Something about the exits? It just sucks you in. And uh, if you overdrive the entry, there's really not much you can do if you start heading toward that wall in a four-tire slide. You're just going to have to hope you bounce off pretty good. Time, 47 this time. That lap time was 32.9. I think Andrew's picked up the pace a little bit. Probably looking to pit soon, so he's using the most of what tire he has. It's smart. Assuming that's what's happening, unless I've just lost a bunch of pace all of a sudden. Without trying. Tyler coming up on fresh tires. Man, John, I, that has to be prediction code, right? He's, that was a huge hit. And that was just on entry. I don't know if he really did hit it like that, but that was a very solid looking hit. I know he's had a, a little bit of connection, connection issues, so that could be all it is. Jordan, I am hitting this time. Almost time for us to come in. Sorry. Hope you uh, don't get seizures, because that was probably not helpful.
When is Andrew gonna come in? We're just gonna come in one lap after him, I think. Or until uh, our ta tank can't handle it anymore. Laps of fuel left. Andrew's still out here. You got about two laps of fuel left. That's what I said. Thank you, crew chief. Some people coming out of the pits around us. Andrew coming in this time, so we are gonna come in this time, I think. No, we're not. I changed my mind because I didn't get to call it out. I was going to get hit by Alan, probably. That was bad. That was not very well planned by me. It's okay. We lose maybe like one and a half tenths through that. Better than getting hit from behind because I didn't give enough warning. I'm going to be pitting this lap. Pitting this lap. Don't forget to pit this lap for more fuel. Better entry that time. Got a little scary for a second. I saw a big group of people behind me, and I was like, are they going to be able to get around me? <laughs> and uh, thankfully they were able to do so. Got our tires, got our fuel. Let's get ourselves a good stop. Five, three, two, one. Right here. No sliding past the box. Thank you. 42, 57... Still on that right front, not as bad. I think 57 might have been my tires in the rear last time. We're done. 67 Pet Nan. 67 Pet Nan. Intake 6 clear. Don't cross the white line. We actually come out right next to Andrew. Got one lap fresher tires. Outside. Clear up top. Make it to the end just fine, I think. Position. Car in front of lap time is at 30.8. Careful. Outside. Clear. How hard do we push? Good on fuel, I think, but we're still gonna be good to the tires. Whoa, he almost goes up against the wall. It's very close. I'll be okay if I remain calm. Keep it smooth. I think we're still in a good position here. He is going low, so we're going to go high here. Get a run on him. Nah, not enough. Not enough to get a run. It's okay. Back to the bottom. Hey, when you guys get to me, I'll be staying high. Go to staying high. I'm lost there, thankfully. I nearly put myself in the wall, though. No good reason.
Lots of cars to come past up ahead. Could be very interesting. Car outside. Clear. Outside. Stay low. Clear. Car outside. Clear outside. Mount Allen. Seventh position. That lap time was the 12.4. Not a very good angle on entry for Andrew. Outside. Should gain some time outside. here. No idea where that guy's running. It looked like he was gonna Outside. stay low and then he moved low, Clear like he was high. gonna take the corner low. Wasn't really sure what he was gonna do. Thankfully, we get around him safe. P6, that was our 31.5. Oh boy, this is like almost three wide ahead of us. Not what we wanna see. That was that was uh that was uh you know good tell it. No, I appreciate that as well, thank you. Back in keep hustling. Car outside. Oh my god, why did you do that? Why on earth would you do that? Outside. Outside is clear. What are you doing, man? You are lapped down. Get out of my lane. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Apologies. I don't know who that guy is, but not great there. I am trying to go for the win. And he cut right across my nose. Okay, Colton. There's a car exit in the pits. Heads up. You're back in second. Gotta be good to the tires though, I know Andrew's really good at long run pace. He proved that in the first run of the of the event here tonight. We gotta make sure that he's not gaining speed right when we need it most. So we have to be nice to these tires. We've got Chuck head, but he cannot make it to the end. I would be absolutely shocked if he could. We're setting the pace. He would have to save like 11 extra laps or something crazy. So I'm feeling pretty content with where I am right now. Still gotta hit my marks though. Till, uh, till this one's finished. The next car the leader. You are the leader. There he is. Much older tires. Wait, no, he pit. <laughs> I got confused because uh, he pit there. So yeah, we are in the lead now. This is interesting. Jordan on the bottom. Car inside. Still there. Hold your line. Clear. Just hit the middle lane. That's fine. got one lap fresher tires than Andrew. Which I think will really help us. I'm going to go ahead and next time around make sure I can make it on fuel because we have been pushing a little bit harder. Thirty-one laps. Yeah, we are plenty good. We are plenty good. Outside. 
clear outside if you want it. Ourselves about half a second up on Andrew. He could be playing uh, to save real good on that uh, right front, though. So even if we're gaining on him right now, we got to keep an eye on that. Took that corner real weird. I don't really like how that turned out. Got a handful of people doing the extra stop coming out. Car outside. Outside, clear. Still have to make it through a lot of lap traffic and things. Which could prove challenging, especially if we come up on more guys doing like too wide and all that. Worst case scenario, if he starts catching us, because he saved tires better, we could move to the high line and maybe that'll be faster. And it could be very difficult to pass us if we do that. So at least we have a tool in our back pocket, even if he starts Point catching again later. Now if I do that, though, don't hit the wall. <laughs> That'd be very, very bad. Be bad for business. Got the bottom here. Inside. Not that I have much of a choice. Clear inside. Doing kick flips. It's all right though. Just a quick Rodney Mullen, and he's on his way. <laughs> that lap was a thirty-two point six. All right, Dan Taylor coming up. Here we are close to the bottom, so he can get around just fine. Get the lane up there for him. I'm gonna go longer. Car outside. Still there. Clear out. Thank you for calling out, because I was kind of daydreaming. I wasn't paying attention. You were behind me. <laughs> Oh, you're all good, brother. It gets kind of dull when your guy's saving over here. <laughs> yeah, it's the Kansas. Blayton coming Everybody's up. Everybody's everywhere. He was on the extra stop strategy. Well, he sees that I've been running low line, and we'll go around the top or middle. Gavin coming around us. He's having a nice top 10 run. He also is taking the extra stop. Outside. Still there, hold your line. 
Clear up top. Kevin gets around. Given just plenty of extra room because there's no reason to tempt fate or anything. 1.2 back to Andrew. And 17 to go. Top times are pretty consistent. The answer bips behind is now 1.4 seconds. They have lapped up past 10th right now. They still could be coming on fresh tires, though. I see Alan R back there. Probably going to catch us before this one's over. We've had a pretty darn good run here today. I think uh, eliminating the pit stop was definitely the way to go. There seems to be that way. With Andrew on our same strategy behind us. So we're running 1 2. Good on fuel, 19. Yes, plenty good. Plenty, plenty good. I think I, I'm very, very happy with how much fuel we were able to save that first run. We go from an estimated 40.6 on fuel to be able to make it to lap 47, which was just absolutely crucial for us. And uh, we didn't sacrifice too much time doing it either. And so that meant that uh, in the second run... You gonna make it on gas? What do you say? I'm going down to fuel to the end. I can hear you who you're talking to, though. No, I'm talking to Aaron behind me. I think he's doing the same thing I am. I'm just trying to figure out how you kept the pace you did and save that kind of fuel. That boggles my mind. Gap two pips. Good day, good day. Hi, Gavin. 1.4 seconds. I'm going to tell you I'm good day. Hi, Gavin. Sorry, but I'm going to have a chat. Saving it all early, clutched a whole there bunch. Thank you. Sorry for the chatter. Yeah, Brandon, it's saying I can make it. I'm barely to the good, but I'm going to keep on clutching to make sure because that estimate can change real quick. Alright, Colton. They're close on fuel. I'm not sure who that would be. Unless, I guess, maybe they're on our strategy and just maybe not hadn't been able to save quite as much. I'll keep running the bottom here, John. I think the guys that took the extra stop should have uh, had shorter runs and not had too much issues. That must be what it is. 11 to go. Keeping an eye on Andrew back there. Great job, in to go. Up the smoke up ahead, maybe a little bit of a wall hit. Car feels great. Getting plenty of turn, mid and exit. I think being able to use the throttle more because we saved more fuel helps to get on the right rear more. So paradoxically, the harder we push here later in the race, the better the tires should be, I think. Funny how that works. The gap to Bips behind is now 1.4 seconds. Did I just say the gap behind to Andrew was 4 seconds? At least up 1.4. 
Maybe look for a second. I'm like, whoa, what happened? But no, that's not what he said. Unless uh, he did say that and it was just an error of some sort. Another puff of smoke on entry. Now, what would be really crazy would be a caution right now, which I hope doesn't happen. Typically doesn't. Unless I'm going to be the one that does it, because that was unnecessarily loose on exit. It was just a lapse of focus from me there. Momentarily. Not counter steering how I need to. Gaining on Andrew at the moment. Feeling pretty good. That's good consistency. Keep it up. Okay, Colton. We're halfway home. We estimate five minutes of fuel left. Six to go. Not too much longer, and if we do get a caution, it'll just end. The captain bits behind is now 1.8 seconds. Bit on fuel still. Plenty, plenty of fuel. Picking up my pace a little bit, since we can. Five left to go. Just done it. Podium is looking good. Podium is looking good. I think the top of the podium is looking pretty good. Is that too? Is that too confident? Probably. It's going to be embarrassing later if I smack the wall or something to lose. Gotta be careful. Gotta be modest until we get there. And then be modest still afterward. It says I'm good, but I'm so afraid to push that S can drop super fast. Four to go. That was a thirty two point eight. Coming up to P nine. John, he's having a great run, top 10 run. After two seconds back now, as we get three to go, caution now would end the race for sure. Outside. Still there, hold your line. Got two behind. Still to us for some reason, I guess obviously he is, because. What, is he just going to completely let up the gas? Still there. Takes out the corner. Of course it's going to hold on. Still there, hold your line. Hang on to her, Dakota. Outside is clear. Two left to go. Two to go. Alright, coming up to the end of this thing, white flag coming up. I need one more good lap. More good lap. I think we can do that. Your P1, that lap time was 32.9. You know what I haven't seen all races? Nick. He's in sixth. He's having a great run, but I feel like I haven't seen his car at any point. That's funny. That means I uh, have a great race to watch on YouTube later. Whole different perspective. We'll get the win! Yes! You got about five laps of fuel left. Great win. You deserve that today. Very you exciting. Awesome, job. awesome to get that. Good win. Awesome strategy, guys. Job, Thanks, great race, man. These races are awesome. I always look forward to th Thursdays. Good job, guys. That was a good, good win. Uh, 
I had point two left in the tank. <laughs> that was it. Get four laps extra in our yeah, fuel tank. Point three. Hey, Wraith guys, another uh, okay, full ready, Bring it on in. Man, that's a new grippy grass. Feels weird. Great win, Colton. I've got to get me some of that devil magic you have. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, great win. Great job saving that. Won't go in as fast as you were. That was just incredible. Great job. Woo. That was another fun one. Yeah, that was awesome. Four laps of fuel to spare. I think that first run, that was, uh, that was crucial. That really did it for us. Being able to uh, front load our saving. 50-60 to end it. Yeah, I'm still trying to figure out how they ran that pace and still save that much fuel because I was doing some really heavy clutching to make it that far. I spent 15 laps in the pits and barely made it on two stops. <laughs> oh. I was having to lift pretty much super duper early and then uh, clutch it all the way into the middle uh, beginning in the middle of the corner just to make it. Say so I'll uh, share my tires, 50-60. Hold on, let me check. Specify when we came in, so... Uh, that would have been pit stop on lap 88. People know. Yeah, I came in one lap later. Do some comparing. Yeah, I definitely used my tires more. Able to balance them pretty good. Yeah, that's what I was thinking you did. I was like, I guarantee what's going to happen is he's going to save that lot quicker than me and he's going to pour it on here at the end. <laughs> All right. So we get the win. You were staying in front of me like 3.7. Love it. Wow. Awesome you race. Like no cautions. Best lead on iRacing? Question mark? I don't know. Yeah, K5 championship's pretty good, too. And I'm like, well, I'm going to keep the gap. Fucking IS. Three to go. He starts closing in. I'm just going to hit it, and whatever happens, happens. <laughs> so thankful for all these elite races I have, because they are just so much fun. Some of the best racing you can get. And uh, we'll go ahead and look at incidents. What did happen out here. Oh, man. Lauren got cosplaying. Yeah, uh, I totally understand that. Uh, Got to get all the way down to 45 to get into the pits here. And that's a lot of slowing down you need to do. I'm glad I practiced it because I definitely could see myself speeding if uh, I hadn't anticipated how much you have to slow down on the entry. I definitely understand where he's coming from there. Unfortunately, that'll just kill your race, especially if it's going to be caution-free. He'll get 18th, looks like. A good run to him. Hopefully he still had fun despite that. Anyway, like I said, incidents. We'll take a look at those. Lap 4, is this going to be a blink or an entry hit? It's an entry hit. Lap 5. There's the other end of the corners. Nick blinking a little bit, Nick King. Here's what happened up ahead. Bad slider. That's where he got his uh his damage. I think he expected it to grip up a whole lot more than it did, and uh by the time I think he's ready to abandon it, it's too late. And that's kind of what I was talking about earlier. Like if you enter a little bit too hard and you end up in that four tire slide here at Kansas, there's really not much you can do about it. Except hit the brakes and hope you can get the car turned. Unfortunately, that uh, catches Chuck a little bit. It slows them both down, but I think they still uh, are doing all right. John must have gotten a penalty, though. He's back in 22nd. So that's too bad, but Chuck still got... Uh, I think Chuck was the highest finishing of the other strategy. 22 car going to get some exit. 19, Chad getting loose. Has to chase it up into the wall. 
So I thought I saw John hit the wall a couple times. I thought maybe it was prediction code, and I think that's maybe what happened here. This didn't look like he actually hit anything. Little wall hit there. Let's move on ahead. Whoa, that was close. The net code was feeling uh, temperamental. That might have actually made contact. Yeah, I don't know why my uh, trading paints isn't working. I'm sorry about that. I'll get that fixed for next time. Sometimes it crashes and I don't notice. I think that's probably what happened here. John, is it real or pretend? That looks like a real one. But he's able to get it out of the wall real quick. Whoa, uh oh, man. Didn't know about that. Warren pre-penalty. It looks like uh, he cuts up in front of Dakota. Probably should have just left the lane there for him. It's tough because he is clear, but you got to know that... Uh, on that outside line, they're going to get a huge run here at Kansas. And so, while technically clear, that's putting the, uh, like in this case, Dakota, in a really tough spot. Because all of a sudden, you're in front of him. And uh, that can be tough to even get it slowed down in time. And uh, unfortunately, he's not able to there. Flips him. So. Usually, I'll be just extra generous, extra careful be like the sort of a defensive driver and just leave that lane and who knows maybe he just didn't see him up there and normally he would he would leave that lane oh my good lord what is happening <laughs> is that this is after uh that contact warren gets it caught but now he's got to get into the corner oh my gosh what an awkward situation wow that could have been bad <laughs> Great save by everybody, though. Awesome awareness from everybody to see what was happening and avoid disaster. Oh, lap 34. We're getting a lot of wall hits, I think. Or maybe the tires are getting old or something. Oh, that was pure net code right there. That sucks. Now, they're racing close, but they're clearly heading straight. And they've uh, got room between them, and a healthy amount of room, too. And it just all of a sudden decides that they're hitting, which, that's a bad case in that code. That's a pretty bad one. So that's very unfortunate. Hate to see that. That was about an inch away from being a caution, too. Like, if he gets sideways enough, that'll call a caution. I think that's just barely not enough for the yellow flag to fly. Pretty shocking that it didn't call a caution, to be honest. But it didn't, and we went all green. So there were some things to see out here, it looks like. I'm going to skip past the wall hits, though, until we get to more of them. There's me. He's probably my tires just getting old. I think the incidents like to show when your tires hit about 50%. And so we're going to get a handful of stuff right now. I might have just a uh, skip past lap 45 or so. Yeah, we're going to do that. So we're going to get to uh, lap 47. That's when I pit. But I don't think we're going to see too, uh, too many more of the false positive incidents. We're going to get the ball from 4th. That stinks. He's stuck up in there for a while. Chad, you joined this wall hit in progress. Ooh, he catches the safer barrier there, too. Rough one there. Moving along. Some pit stops happening for the other strategy, guys. Uh-oh. That is not the pit entry he was looking for. Stuck the landing, though. Kept it rolling. Doesn't lose uh, all that much time, I hope. Didn't look like it. Real or pretend wall hit? That's a real one. He got the wall pretty good there. And 
even along. I think we're getting some tires getting old again. Sorry to, for being a little rude to the 74 at the one point. I just didn't expect him to uh, cut in front of me when he did, and it shocked me a little bit. Not seeing anything here. My tire's getting a little older. I don't think I hit the wall today, did I? I think I was able to avoid it. I ran the low lane. I ran the bottom the whole way, so. Less chance to hit the wall there. If I hit the wall running the low line, I've uh, done something terribly wrong. <laughs> Unless we're talking about an entry or exit, I guess. We'll skip ahead a little bit more. A couple laps. Get past these uh, tires. Try to, at least. That's lap 103. That's a fake wall hit for John. He just uh, gets so close to the wall. He's very precise. You can see he has a lot of skill. I, I mean that completely seriously. He's able to move all the way up to the wall, and that takes a lot of finesse. Here we let Chuck go, it looks like. And uh, that's when he did his kickflip. See, I remember that. Go and get the wall. Moving ahead a little bit. Probably don't need to see all the wall hits. Uh-oh, that's not a wall hit. That might be what happened. John here. He is getting a real wall hit. A real confirmed wall hit. Just sucked him in, like I'd said the Kansas wall likes to do, and uh, just really struggling to get it off of there, and I think uh, tried to get on the gas, and all of a sudden he is in the grass and giving up. So that stinks. That's what happened to him. He called it quits, I think. Um, that was actually the last lap. So he's coming to the checker. <laughs> Probably just goofing around. But I think he gave himself a penalty. Yeah, um... Entered the pits too early. Gave himself a penalty, and that put him at the end of the uh, two laps down. So he cost himself some positions there, but I don't think he's running for points. He's just running the race on its own, so I'm sure he's not too concerned about it. And uh, that is going to do it. I think the next thing we're going to see after uh, John takes the road course here... <laughs> well, we're going to see it for a while because he's heading backwards. Oh, the calamity. That was a hit. This thing we see is nothing, so <laughs> we get the win. All right. Very fun race. You've got your finishing order there, and we will look at the results page here. Um, I will navigate to that, and we will go ahead and look at the league standings as well. Feeling pretty good about how that's going to be looking. You're already uh, leading the league, and uh, after that race, winning and leading some laps, and... We'll see who got the fastest lap as well. You know, could uh, be a very, very good looking situation with, I think, two races left to go now. Uh, that is correct. Two races to go after this. And, uh, things should be looking pretty good. But here are the race results. Thank you for your patience as I brought that up. Excuse me. Not fastest lap, but we get the win and 180 points. 52 laps led, just three shy of Chuck's most laps led and it was actually john who gets the fastest lap that makes sense running that high line and running it really fast so that's probably how we pulled that off my fastest lap time was two tenths off of that why did i get an incident is that because not everybody was finished at the end i guess that's what it was at least it doesn't matter <laughs> safety rating obviously not gonna make not gonna change it or at all from a league race but we essentially had a 0x race. And, uh, very good race for us as well. Gavin finished 7th. I feel like he's been finish, finishing 7th a lot. I keep thinking in my head, like, oh yeah, the 77 finished the 7th. I feel like he does that a lot lately. But uh, he does not lead a lap, so he actually gets less points than a Leighton, who led 11 of them. And uh, the rest of your finishing order here. 27 car field. And here, next, league standings, as promised. So, we have got ourselves a very nice looking lead. And it looks like we're over 200 points on Gavin. 
After we get our fourth win of the season, that will tie John, I believe, for the most out here. That looks to be correct. So uh, tied with John for the most wins. And uh, currently got ourselves a nice, healthy lead here. Heading into Phoenix next week and then the finale at Homestead. And I'm really looking forward to it. Like I said uh, on voice chat earlier, looking forward to Thursdays every week. Probably my favorite day of the week with this league going on. Just so much fun. Favorite car on iRacing. And uh, excellent group of drivers to race it with. Love it here. Hope you enjoyed as well. And uh, that'll do it for this one. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time.